An anterior cruciate ligament tear, or ACL tear, is a very serious injury. However, with surgery and rehabilitation, it is possible to get injured athletes back to playing sports. Now, athletes don't have to have surgery to fix a torn ACL. You can still walk in a straight line, go up and down stairs, go to school, and do other day-to-day -day activities. But if you want to cut, pivot, jump, or run side to side, you will have a lot of difficulty without your ACL. For that reason, we do recommend that young, active people have their ACLs fixed. The main way to fix an ACL tear is called an ACL reconstruction. We replace the old ACL with new ACL graft tissue. Graft tissue means taking tissue from your own body or from a tissue donor to rebuild your ACL. When we use donor tissue, we don't have to take it from your body, which means the surgery is shorter, and you should be in less pain after surgery. But research has shown that ACL reconstructions using your own tissue have better long-term outcomes than with donor tissue. So we do recommend that young, active people use their own graft tissue. There are two main places in the body where ACL grafts come from. The first is from the patellar tendon. With this graft, we take a sliver of the patellar tendon, which is in the front of your knee. The second kind of graft is from the hamstring. With this graft, we take two hamstring tendons from the back of the thigh. During an office visit, we'll go over all the pros and cons of each type of graft and talk about what's best for you. The surgery usually takes between two and two and a half hours. You usually come and go the same day and don't have to stay in the hospital overnight either. You'll go home with a large bandage called a dressing covering your knee, a knee brace, crutches, and an ice machine. We'll teach you how to use crutches to get around so you don't put too much weight on your leg for the first week you're home. You'll come back one week after surgery to start physical therapy, which you'll do for the next few months. You begin to put more and more weight on your leg until you don't need the crutches anymore. About two to three weeks after surgery, you can usually stop using the brace once your thigh muscles have regained enough strength. We often send patients home from surgery with a continuous passive motion machine, or CPM machine. This is a machine that you rest your leg in and it slowly bends your knee back and forth just to get you in the habit of bending your knee again. The machine is nice because it's automatic, moves slowly, and can help you get over any fear about bending your knee. But the best thing you can do is to keep working on bending your knee yourself by using your own muscles. We typically say that around nine months after surgery, most patients will be cleared to return to full activity and sports. At the nine month mark after surgery, we'll have you do what's called a functional ACL test. This test measures how strong the injured knee is compared to the normal knee. A score of 90% or higher typically means you're ready for full athletic activity. Most athletes will be fitted for a functional ACL brace as well. This will be the brace that you wear once you've been cleared to return to gym class and sports. We recommend that you wear this brace during athletic activity for the first year. We'll also give you a clearance letter to return to your sport. 